Hey guys, and welcome to Hana Gastro. So in today's video, we'll be talking about what is an aspartate aminotransferase blood test, which is also commonly known as an AST blood test. So let's get started. So before we get into the specifics of the aspartate aminotransferase blood test, let's talk a little bit about what you can expect when your doctor orders this test for you. So an aspartate aminotransferase blood test, also known as an AST blood test, is a simple test that can be done at your closest laboratory or hospital. No special preparation is needed for an aspartate aminotransferase blood test, which means you don't have to fast so you can eat and drink as usual before the test. During the test, a blood sample will be collected from you, which means a needle will be inserted into a vein, usually in your arm, to draw out some blood into a gold top or SST blood tube. This blood tube is then sent off to a laboratory where it is analyzed and resulted. So what is aspartate aminotransferase or AST? Aspartate aminotransferase, also known as serum glutamic oxaloacetic transaminase, is an enzyme found primarily in the liver, the heart, the muscles, and other tissues. It plays a crucial role in amino acid metabolism by catalyzing the reversible transfer of an amino group from aspartate to alpha-ketoglutarate, producing oxaloacetate and glutamate. So to basically sum up the slide, aspartate aminotransferase, or AST, is an enzyme primarily found in the liver tissue, the heart tissue, and the muscular tissue of the body and it plays a crucial role in amino acid metabolism and catalyzes the reversible transfer of amino acid groups to oxaloacetate and glutamate and vice versa. So now that we know what AST is, let's talk a little bit about what an AST blood test is. So an aspartate aminotransferase blood test is a diagnostic test that measures the level of the AST enzyme in the blood. This test is commonly used to assess liver health and can help diagnose liver damage or disease, like in cases of hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, or liver failure. So besides liver disease, the AST test can also help detect damage to other organs, such as the heart or the muscles. For example, elevated AST levels can also occur after a heart attack or in cases of muscle injury. So the AST blood test is very useful in assessing liver damage, heart damage, or muscle damage, as the enzyme is most predominantly found in these specific organs. So any stress or damage or disease that affects these particular organs will cause raised AST levels in the blood. So why do doctors order an aspartate aminotransferase blood test? Number one is to evaluate liver function. So AST is commonly ordered to assess liver function and to detect liver diseases such as hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, fatty liver disease, and liver cancer. So elevated AST levels usually indicate liver cell damage, prompting further investigation to the physician. At number two, we also have to monitor chronic liver conditions. So for patients with known liver conditions, Doctors can use an AST blood test to monitor the progression of the disease and to also monitor the effectiveness of treatment. So if the disease is progressing or getting worse, we will have even higher AST levels. And when the patient has started on some treatment for their liver condition, the AST levels should fall as the treatment should begin to combat the progression of the disease. So doctors can also order this test to diagnose heart conditions. So AST levels can rise after a heart attack, as the enzyme is also present in the heart muscle cells. So while this is not a primary test for diagnosing a heart attack, the AST can be used part of the workup for a myocardial infarction. And the fourth reason doctors might order this blood test is to assess muscle health. So since AST is also found in muscle tissue, elevated levels can indicate muscle damage or diseases such as in cases of muscular dystrophy or rhabdomyolysis, which is a condition where damaged muscle tissue breaks down. 
So what are the normal ranges of AST in the blood? So the normal AST levels are usually measured in units per liter of blood. And in men, this range falls between 10 to 40 units per liter. And in women, this range is usually from 9 to 32 units per liter. So now that we know what the normal ranges look like, let's take a closer look at what causes abnormally high and abnormally low levels of AST in the blood. So what causes abnormally high AST levels? So abnormally high aspartate aminotransferase levels can indicate damage or stress to organs where AST is present, such as the liver, the heart, the muscles, and the kidneys. So causes of abnormally high AST levels include, number one, liver-related conditions. And this is made up of a complete basket of liver diseases, which includes hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, fatty liver disease, liver cancer, alcoholic liver disease, and drug-induced liver injury. So let's explore each of them a little further. So in hepatitis, we have inflammation of the liver, which is often caused by viral infections like hepatitis A, B, C, D, or E, or alcohol abuse, which can significantly lead to raised AST levels. We can also have liver cirrhosis, which is chronic liver damage, often from long-term alcohol use or chronic hepatitis infections. And this can also cause high AST levels as the liver cells here are destroyed and will release the enzyme in high quantities. So in fatty liver disease, we have accumulation of fat in the liver, and this is often related to obesity or alcohol consumption, which can also elevate the AST levels. In liver cancer or metastasis that occurs to the liver, we have cancerous tumors in the liver that can cause high AST levels. In alcoholic liver disease, we have chronic alcohol abuse, which leads to liver inflammation and damage, often resulting in elevated AST levels. So AST is typically more elevated than ALT in chronic alcoholic liver disease. And finally, we can have drug-induced liver injury. So here, certain medications, toxins, or drugs, including over-the-counter pain relievers like acetaminophen, can cause liver damage and raise the AST levels as well. So moving along, let's explore some abnormally high AST levels pertaining to heart-related conditions and muscle-related conditions. So at number two, we have heart-related conditions, which includes myocardial infarction or heart failure. So in cases of myocardial infarction, AST levels can rise in response to damage to the heart muscle cells during a heart attack. However, this test is less commonly used today for diagnosing heart attacks, with troponin being a more specific test here. Then we have cases of heart failure. So here we have a chronic heart condition that stresses the heart muscle and can also elevate the AST levels in the blood. Moving on to muscle-related conditions, under this category we have muscle injury, rhabdomyolysis, and muscular dystrophy. So in muscle injury, we have severe muscle injury or trauma from an accident, intense exercise, or surgery, which can release AST into the bloodstream, raising the levels on a blood test. In rhabdomyolysis, this is a serious condition where muscle tissue breaks down rapidly, releasing muscle enzymes like AST into the blood, and it can be caused by trauma, drug use, extreme physical activity, or certain diseases. And in cases of muscular dystrophy, this is a group of genetic conditions which can cause progressive muscle weakness, and damage can result in elevated AST levels as well. So moving along, we have even more causes of abnormally high AST levels, and this includes other conditions, including acute pancreatitis, hemolysis, and kidney disease. So in acute pancreatitis, we have inflammation of the pancreas, which can lead to elevated AST levels. In hemolysis, we have the breakdown of red blood cells, which can happen due to various conditions like hemolytic anemia or sickle cell disease, which may also elevate blood AST levels. And in kidney disease, although less common, some kidney conditions can also cause elevated AST levels as well.
So now that we've explored all the causes for abnormally high AST levels, let's talk a little bit about what are the causes for abnormally low AST levels in a blood report. So abnormally low aspartate aminotransferase levels are generally not a cause for concern and are typically not clinically significant. AST is an enzyme that is usually present in low concentrations in the blood and low levels are often just a reflection of normal enzyme activity. However, there are a few scenarios where low AST levels might be clinically important. So here we have four causes. At number one, we have a vitamin B6 deficiency. So AST activity depends on the presence of vitamin B6 or pyridoxine, which is a cofactor, which means that a severe deficiency in vitamin B6 can lead to decreased AST activity and consequently lower AST levels in the blood. At number two, we have advanced liver disease. So in cases of very, very advanced liver disease, such as severe liver cirrhosis or even liver failure, the liver cells can be so damaged that they can no longer produce enough AST. So this can lead to lower levels of AST in the blood report, although this is more often associated with critically ill patients. So remember, as a general rule in liver disease, we will have abnormally high AST levels. And this is because the enzyme is released from those damaged and distressed cells. But in cases of severe liver failure, where the liver is completely dying on a person, they no longer have the energy to produce AST, and therefore levels can be extremely low in these patients. The third cause is pregnancy. So during pregnancy, especially in the first trimester, AST levels may naturally decrease as part of the physiological changes occurring in the mommy's body. And at number four, we have medications. So some medications may artificially lower AST levels, though this is very uncommon. And so the take home message. So as we have just seen, the AST blood test is a valuable tool for assessing the liver function, monitoring chronic liver conditions, diagnosing heart or muscle damage, investigating unexplained symptoms, and screening high-risk individuals for liver disease. The test is a versatile tool that provides critical information about a patient's overall health, especially regarding the liver and other organs where AST is abundantly present. And that brings us to the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with some of your friends in the medical community. So I've also just signed up for Buy Me A Coffee. So if you want to encourage me to do even more, or to say thanks for all the free information you've received on my channel today, you can click down in the description box below to buy me a coffee. Take care, and have a wonderful day further. Bye for now.